How's everybody doing today? I'm Tavon with Elevation Corporate Health here in Baltimore, Maryland. Today I'm bringing to you another strength and core workout. If you can, we're gonna grab a set of weights if you have them. If you don't have the weights, you can do body weight. Also, while you're at it, grab a bag or something that we can use to put on the back, put on the shoulder. Make sure that it's light enough that you can take it over the top of your head. Uh, the other thing, if you choose, you're gonna get a mat. We're gonna lay the mat on out. We're gonna be using that for the core work and some of the uh, leg work. So give a few seconds for everybody to grab up that. Then we're gonna go into the workout. All right. Hopefully we have some uh, heavy enough weights that to give us a good challenge today. Uh, make sure that the bag is heavy enough to give you a good squat challenge. Also, we wanna make sure that we in an area that's nice and clear because we'll be doing a little bit of moving around today. Uh, kind of just shifting from side to side. Uh, doing some walks and things like that. All right, so hopefully we have the equipment. We're going to get into the workout. First thing we're going to do, we're going to spend about four minutes warming up. We're going to start off with some nice little knee taps, just lifting the knees up, alternating the hands from side to side, getting some mobility in there of your spine. Try to make sure we're not keeping all that torque in your lower back. And if we keep it in the mid portion of your torso mobile, five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, what we're going to do with this next one, we're going to go to the side, we're going to reach down to the ground, take a second to hold it, and come on up. We're gonna spend 30 seconds in there lifting these muscles, getting some dynamic stretching going on. Hold for a second, coming up. Reach down as long as you can, getting the hips back. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, let's work on that torso rotation. We're gonna go into a little Half kneeling, coming half squat, which is an athletic stance. Hands out in front of you, straight back, opening up, going in, open up. Breathe out as you rotate. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, next one, we're gonna get these hip flexors stretching up in front of the legs. We're gonna step in, hold your hand down, reach on up, come back, switch out, touch the ground, reach back. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, going through some squats. As you go into the squat, you're gonna lift the hands up above the head, bring them back down as you come back up. One in. We're gonna work 30 seconds. Nice shoulder width with your feet. Doing the best to keep the toes pointing forward. But it can go slightly out, slightly. Not too much. Five, <clears throat> four, three, two, one, time. Going down to the ground, we're gonna do some push-ups. Warm up the chest. If you have to do them from your knees, that's fine. But if you're going to just challenge yourself doing a warm up, doing them the natural way, that's fine as well.
Make sure you keep that navel drawn in. Support your lower back. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, first thing we're doing, we're gonna go to your back. We're gonna grab the weight, sit them at each side of it, to the beside you, one on the other, one side, one on the other. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring the hips up, hold that bridge, bring both weights, one at a time, bring it on down. Let the elbow touch the ground. Hopefully we have some good heavy weights out there to really challenge your chest. Make sure that you pay attention to the glute squeeze as well. We're gonna be moving into core work from here and then going back into it. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Sit the weights down. There's no rest here. We're going right in to sit-ups. Reaching towards the ceiling. Breathe out, empty that belly. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Take a second to recover. Start to get yourself put in position. Give it 10 seconds, you're getting ready to come on up. Glute bridge, bring those hips up slowly. Engage the glutes, take the weights up, and begin. Keep that name drawn in, support your lower back. We're almost there. 10. Keep squeezing. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Weights down. Let's go right to the core work. Sit ups. Ready? And begin. Almost there. We have five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, let's recover. We're going to make it our way up. All right, we're going to use that bag. We're going to be doing a squat. And upright rows, right? For me, I have two sets of handles on here. Doesn't matter whether you have the bag in the middle holding one handle or if you have it holding both of your handles and pulling up. We're going to be doing an upright row, but into a squat first. Squat, pull it up high, back down. Ready? And begin. 30 seconds. Let it touch. Good hip extension. Keep the timing up. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, time. All right, mountain climbers. We're going to take the mountain climbers nice and slow. Let's engage your core. Come on up. 
little break. And again. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and time. Recovery. Thirty seconds. We're coming back up. Going right back to the bag. All right. Ten seconds to go. Get those feet a little wider and shoulder width. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Almost there, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, right to those slow mountain climbers. Come right on up, and again. Fifteen to go. Last five. And time. Break. All right. Next step we're coming up to, we're going to be working your back. I want you to grab either the bag or a heavy weight. We're gonna be working one side at a time. Nice heavy rolls. Let the weight get close to the can to the ground for the extended arm, and then pull on up. Ready? And let's begin. We wanna be able to pull it from a big stop if we can. And then stop all the way down, pull. And drop. Pull. Don't worry about going fast. Keep a good rhythm. Squeeze your back muscles. Five, four, three, two, one, switch. Let's go right into it. Pull. Pull. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. We're going to work the legs out this time. All right, let's put that bag on your back or hold your weights in your hands. All right, we're so going to a slip stance. We're going to do some pulse, okay? We're going to stay down nice and low and pulse. Three, two, one. Feel the quads working. Feel some work in the glutes. Try to keep your chest upright. Don't lean far forward. It's going to put all the work right in the quad. You want to share this work here. Five, four, three, two, switch. Go nice and low. Low as your body will allow you. If the knee is hurting, don't go as far.
10 seconds. Five. Time. All right. Cool work. Cool work. All right. We're going down. I want you to place the bag close to the base of your mat. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to do some leg raises. But every time it touches the bag, or every time it touches whatever you have on your feet, bring it right back up. Don't let it rest. All right, ready? And then begin. Drop them down, back up. As soon as you feel the tap, back up. We're gonna work it 30 seconds. Then we're going back to the top. Going back to back rows. Ten to go. Three, two, time. All right. We got a little break here. Also, make the break your transition to come back up and get everything set up. We don't want to waste any time here. We also don't want the heart rate to go down too low. We want recovery, but we don't want it to feel like we're just kind of sitting around waiting for the next thing. We want to keep it up. All right, in three, two, going back to those back rows. And begin, dead stop, pull, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze. You should feel your mid-back muscles engage. All the muscles that go around that shoulder blade should be engaged and time. Go right into the other side. We're not gonna rest. No rest. Keep a rhythm of one and one. One, one. One, one. One, one. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Yes. All right. Going in, putting it behind the head, or holding on to your weights, having it down to your side. We're gonna do those pulsing lunges. All right, let's get set up. In three, two, one. Going down nice and low. Even that weight, don't lean too far forward. You should feel like your glute has a load on it as well. Quads have a load on it. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Shake it off. Opposite side. Ready? Let's go. 30 seconds. Breathe through it. Keep the glute engaged. Keep your quads engaged. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, time. All right. Bag on down or weights down. Whatever you're gonna put down there by the base of your your mat, get ready for those leg drops. Sitting on the hands. Let's raise your feet up. And begin. Keep that navel in. We're always bracing your core. Always bracing. The 
Just have them reassure no injuries, that your core is always engaged, and that every exercise incorporates the core a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right. Take advantage of the rest. 30 seconds. We're going to be working a little, some tricep kickbacks, but we're going to be holding a plank. All right. I'm going to demonstrate with your weight. Holding it here, feet wide, hips engaged, here, boom. All right. So make sure that weight is good enough that you can be able to fully extend, fully extend your tricep. All right. All right, ready? Three, two, one, and let's go. I'm going to say it. Five seconds. And rest. In between, we're going to be doing some leg work. All right. Coming up. We're going down nice and low. We're going to pause. 30 seconds. Then we'll go back down. Work the opposite side. Twenty seconds. Stay nice and low. Pulse. Pulse. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. Take a quick break. We're gonna go back down. This time we're gonna work the opposite. Same combination of exercises. Kick back while on the plank. Then we're coming up, pulses class. <laughs> 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and let's go. Do your best not to rotate the hip. All right. We're going to be here. Try to stay nice and engaged. Hips level out as much as you can. Three, two, one, and time. Drop it. Coming on up. Pulsing squats coming up. In three. Two, one, let's go. Nice and low. Get those glutes engaged. Get the quads engaged. Keep the chest slightly raising. You don't want to be leaned over. You want to be here. Chest up. 15 to go. Five, four. Three, two, rest. All right, shake it off, 30 seconds. We're coming right back in there. Grab some water if you need it. All right, switching it up. We're gonna grab the bag or your weight, doesn't matter which one. We're gonna be doing bicep curls. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna knock out 30 seconds, regular bicep curls, right? Then we're gonna bring it up and we're gonna hold it out 
Isometric hold, 15 seconds. All right, ready? And let's go. Keep those shoulders pinned back. Isolate your bicep by keeping the elbows forward. Don't allow the arms to go back here. You shorten it up. Keep them out. Bring the bag on up. Five seconds until we hold. We're gonna go halfway and hold. Three, two, one, hold. 15 seconds. Keep the tension off the shoulders. Drag those shoulders down. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. All right. All right, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get into some curtsy lunges. While we're waiting on this next round of bicep, we're gonna switch, alternate. Knee going right behind your heel. Nice and slow going in. Stay under control. Make sure you're not getting too much torque on your knee. Five. Four, three, two, one, last one, boom. Rest on up. If we're wondering, if we're wondering where the core work is at, that's when we're gonna be holding the, the bag, drawing that navel in. It's almost like a standing plank. All right, let's pick one up. And three. Two, one, we begin. Ten to go. Then we're gonna hold. Three, two. One, let's hold. Keep the tension up. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, let's get the rabbit lunges in. In three, two, let's begin. Crossing over. Land right behind the knee. What we're doing here is we're working on knee stability by those tendons and ligaments getting a little bit of tweaking the knees. We're building up some strength in there. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, take that break. You're gonna meet me back down on the ground, going to some more leg work. Fifteen seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one, time. All right, let's grab the bag. Grab the weight, but then you're gonna hold. All right, we're gonna hold it on up by the side. We're gonna raise and we're gonna march. Keep those hips engaged. Keep that navel drawing in. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 
two, one, time. We're not done yet. We're gonna work the triceps out. If you have your weights, you gotta bring it on down, come back up. Go down, keep those elbows inward, come back up. The forearm comes towards the face, flex back up. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Let it down. Core work. We're going to go in bicycle crunches. Let's have you hold at the end. One, 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 one. Keep it up. Breathe up. Breathe up. Five, four, three, two, and time. Rest it up. We're going to be still here. We're going to repeat one more round just like that. Then we're moving to our stretch. All right. Get ready to grab your wings or your bag. Bring it over here. Hold it on up. Raise those hips and let's march. Shoulders nice and pinned back. Glutes are engaged. Navel drawn in. Ten seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Right. Relax the hips. Keep those hands engaged with the bag or your weights. Drop one down, back one up. Going into extensions. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Rest. All right, bicycles, connect with that elbow and knee, nice and slow towards it, and then switch. Ready? And let's go. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Five. Perfect. All right, let's take a second. If you need the water, you can grab the water for the stretches. If not, we're going to be starting on our back. Give it a few seconds for your heart rate to come down. So we can be in a nice relaxed state, control your breathing while doing these stretches. All right. All right, first one we're gonna start off with, we're gonna switch it up a little bit this week. We're gonna start in with the glute stretch. Pulling the leg in, trying to grab the front of the knee or right behind the leg. Pull it in once we're there, don't bounce around. Don't allow the muscles to Pull in, then relax, pull in, relax. Keep it all the way pulled in. Never get too comfortable if it releases, pull in a little bit more. Three, two, one. Time, slowly put it down. Switch over, opposite side, pull on in. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. We're going to pull the leg in. All right. We're 
We're going to pull it out to the side. Keep the shoulders into the ground. We're trying to stretch out the inner thigh. That's the goal of this one. Three, two, one. Now let's take it across the body, keeping those shoulders down. Keep those shoulders pinned to the mat. Look the opposite way that the knee is going. It helps you keep the shoulders down. Three, two, one. Let's switch out. Opposite. All right. Pull it on out to the side, away from you. Feel the inside of your thigh stretch. Three, two, one. Let's pull it across. Look away from me. Just getting the lower back to stretch out, getting the side of the leg to stretch out a little bit. If you can, you hold on to it with your hand and continue to pull as long as your shoulders don't come up the ground. Three, two, one, time. All right, let's focus in on your lower back now, pulling both of them in as close as you can. Rock around a little bit, try to create like a circle motion. Just getting your spine to relax. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right. Let's come on up. All right. We're going to place the knee on the mat. We're going to come here. We're going to get our pelvic bone. We're going to get our pelvis and pelvis. Go into like a little tilt. Like we're trying to tilt towards your back. You should feel a pull right on your leg. You don't have to really lean into it a whole lot. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right, switching up. Same thing, opposite side. You should be able to draw the navel in, get those hips to tilt back, and you should feel that pull. Sometimes having the hands at your hips just brings some awareness in case you feel like you're too loose. Just imagine you're tilting back, pulling. Three, two, one, relax. All right, let's bring it on up. All right, we're gonna focus in on hamstrings. Feet nice and wide, going to a nice flat back. Try not to round your lower back. Keep the shoulders pinned back. As we go into it, you should feel the back of your leg. Have a nice pull. Maintain that flat back. The only thing you can do is continue to go deeper into the stretch, as long as you can maintain a flat back. Five, four, three. Two, one, time. Come on up, open up the chest, pull those shoulders back. Don't lean back too far that you feel your lower back engage. This is about lengthening out your abdominals. About opening up the chest, pulling back the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, relax. Leg, slide down the side. Place the hand behind you. Feel the lateral stretch, side of the body, stretching out. You don't want your hips going the opposite way of the stretch. Everything is dipping in. Three, two, one. Switch sides out, last one. Holding. In tune with the body, feel a stretch. Three, two, one, and we're done. I'm gonna read these books. All right. I hope y'all got the workout you came here looking for. Hope you feel a little bit more refreshed. Maybe tired, but refreshed like we came here, we did it, and we got it done. I'm Tavon for Elevation Corporate Health. 
Baltimore, Maryland. Till next week, y'all have a great one.